רבותיי. הלכה עשרת חייב האדם לקרוא את המגילה בלילה ולחזור לשנותיה ביום. מגילה has to be read at night and then one more time during the day. ושלילה, זמנה כל הלילה עד עלות השחר. The night is supposed to be the whole night, starting from set הכוכבים. From the time of set הכוכבים, that's when we read the מגילה, and onwards. בדיעבד, you could start reading a little bit earlier than that. However, the chatechila, one should wait till after set הכוכבים, and then read the מגילה. And you have all night to read it. And the one that's in the morning, משל יום, זמנה כל היום. The one of the day, if it's man the right time, is all day. So therefore, the person doesn't have to read it right away in the morning. He can read it even later on in the day, especially for the ladies that have things to do in the morning and they want to go to Megillah later on during the day. That's mutar, it's not a problem. Of course, always, Rizim Akdimim La Mitzvot, we all know. And therefore, a person should always try to read the Megillah right away, as early as he can in the morning, as early as he can at night, first time in order that he should do the mitzvah at the best time. Now where is the right place to read the Megillah? So he brings down mitzvah There is a tremendous mitzvah to read it where there's a lot of people. So a person, it is preferable to go to a place that has a large audience, not just 5, 10, 15 people and that's it. Of course, Ten people might be very little noise. However, Merov Am had that melech, and therefore a person should try to read it with a lot of people. However, this is all if a person could be your terem mitzvah. If a person can hear the whole Megillah without afraot, without having been disturbed during the Megillah, and missing words during the Megillah. But if a person is afraid that if he's going to go to such a large minyan, where there's going to be so much people, there's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of kids uh, are making noise and things like that. In that case, well, he lost out. The guy lost out more than what he gained. Because he went to do a mitzvah bin of Am, but he didn't end up doing the mitzvah at all. So what did he gain? And therefore, in such a case, it's better to read it in a smaller audience, up to even with a minyan, or even without a minyan, it's better to do it as long as a person knows that he's a day or a mitzvah, 100%. So again, each person has to make sure he finds himself to try to come to the place where there's a sibur, where there's a berov A lot of people ask me, Rabbi, do we have to read it at 6.30? Do we have to read it right when it's, you know, right when it gets to Seta Kochavim? We're at work. We want to come home from work late. We want to come home 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So the answer is you don't have to read it at 6.30. You don't have to read it berov A madrat melech. But it's better to read it at that time. And therefore, a person should time himself that he should finish work early in order that he should come to the shul and read the Megillah, Berov Am, with a lot of people in order that he should have this extra mitzvah of Berov Am Hadrat Bezim.